Hey guys, this is Sarah, and today I want to talk to y'all about wanting versus having. These two different perspectives that can dramatically alter how you experience life. And I have two examples that will help you understand what this looks like and the importance of really getting this down. Alright, but before we get started, I want to show you this really, really cool tree. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Um, so we're actually going to be talking about trees today. My examples are of trees and squirrels. Um, so the first, the first perspective that I'll give you is that of the squirrel. <laughs> squirrels, what do they do? They are wanting creatures. They run around and they want food. So they'll be like, oh, oh, not, not, let me, get, let me go get that. Oh, oh, mine. And then they get it and they munch, 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 munch. And then they're like, ah, I need another. I need another. And then they go and they like search for another one. And then they're like, oh, oh, a human, a human, a human. And then they run up to the human and they're like, food? Food? Can I get some food? <laughs> So squirrels are running around like crazy, trying to get things that ultimately they need, but they really want. They want more, and they're going to keep searching for more, and that more is always outside of them. It's always in a nut that's 10 feet down the street. Oh, oh, the next one's 100. I can do that. You know, they're just, they keep searching. They keep wanting. And um, now let me share with you the other perspective, and then I'll tell you a little bit about why this has been important for me lately, and all the time. <laughs> um, the next example is the perspective of the tree. <laughs> what does the tree do? Oh, ooh, wind. <laughs> uh, what does a tree do? A tree doesn't want. It doesn't search outside of itself in order to get anything. Trees don't have anything and they can't get stuff. They don't have the ability to get stuff. Um, but they still have needs. They still need water and food. But instead of running around like crazy seeking to get what they want, they grow themselves deeper. They grow their roots deeper and farther. And what they do is by growing themselves and making themselves different, larger, stronger, more durable, they're able then to satisfy the needs that they'll need to get more. Oh, I really like that curl. I'm sorry. Okay. Distracted. <laughs> okay. So trees, instead of searching outside of themselves for what they want, they realize that all they have to do to get more food and water is to grow deeper roots. And I think that we humans oftentimes behave like squirrels because we don't realize that we can be trees. We can just get everything we want by sitting there. Now, I don't mean that literally all we have to do is sit and we'll get everything we want. Like, no, of course there's some work involved and it's kind of kind of hard to understand that, but we don't realize that we don't need to run around looking to be fulfilled and satisfied by other things, whatever that might be, success, approval, you know, food oftentimes, oh look, this will taste good, this will make me feel better, this will relieve some stress, and um, you know, you'll get your little nut, and then you'll be hungry for more, and then you'll run around for more, and you'll never just be satisfied and confident in yourself as a strong being that is abundant and always has resources. Um, this is really important for me. Um, especially this week, I found myself or realized that I was behaving like a squirrel. Um, actually, I didn't even realize it until I wasn't able to get what I want. I found myself in a land that was deserted, 
of nuts. <laughs> there was no food for me to find. And then once I hit rock bottom emotionally and I experienced a miniature crisis of, oh my God, I want something that I can't have. I kind of woke up and I realized I don't need that. I can be a tree. I can grow stronger in myself. And I won't want that anymore. I'll have everything that I need. Even though trees, paradoxically, don't have anything. They can't hold anything in their hands. All they can do is just sit there and be themselves. And um, so yeah, I find this a really, really interesting idea to contemplate. Um, and I hope the analogy was kind of cute and helpful for you. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'm signing off.